Hey guys, Justin here from Temco, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the new variable auto transformer we have available here. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, what is a variac, uh, how does it work, what is it used for, um, and then a little bit about our design philosophy when we were putting this unit together. What is a variac? Well, a variac is a type of transformer. Uh, it's in the family of the auto transformer. And now what an auto transformer is, is it's an electrical transformer with only one coil. Uh, that you normally, with an isolation style, you have a primary and a secondary coil. Well, with an auto transformer, you've only got one. Um, when you pass the electrical current through the, through the coil, as in an uh, isolation style transformer, uh, you establish a magnetic field in the core. And then with an auto transformer, the winding continues past where the connection points where your line feed is. And so you actually have a longer coil than, than you're feeding. Now what this accomplishes is that that magnetic field actually influences that back on itself on that coil. And you can get a greater voltage out of just a single coil. Uh, I have a core available, actually, out of this uh, variac. Let me show this to you here. And you can see this is just, it's, it's one continuous wrap of wire wrapped around a core. And you've got two feed points here. You'd feed, say, your neutral here and your line in on this one is, is where we have these wired up. Now you'll notice, like I said, that there's actually more coil beyond where the line connection's wired in. Now on the top of this, you can see that the, uh, the top of the windings, the varnish has been shaved off and we have exposed copper here. Now inside of the unit here, we have a wiper arm that follows across the top of this and allows you to pick anywhere along this coil of wire to get your output voltage. Which means that if you were to go on here, with a reference to neutral, you were to go up a couple of turns, you could get 2 volts AC out of this. Uh, you could go all the way around here and line it up with the same wrap that the input is on and get the same input output, I mean, that you're inputting. So 120 volts in, 120 volts out. Uh, continue past that and go to the other end of this one, this core specifically, uh, you can get to all the way to 140 volts just by, just by uh, like I said, going along past where that, that feed point is and the magnetic field is actually going to be influencing the voltage on this latter half of the coil over here. Use one of these when you either want to set voltage or adjust voltage on the fly. Um, and for an example, I'm going to show you here on the scope. This is the output waveform from our Variac here. And you can see as I turn the knob up and down that very smoothly the voltage transitions uh, anywhere from 0 volts here all the way up into the 140 volt range. Um, and you can see there's no flicker or anything like that, so it's not changing taps or anything like that. It's very smooth sweep across those sanded copper portions that I was showing you earlier. A primary example that I see a lot of people talk about is for dimming light bulbs, an incandescent light bulb. If you were to hook that up to this Variac, you could dim that light bulb from pretty much to the point where it was completely off, all the way up past its full brightness, unless you're in a situation where you don't need, you can't use the noise from a traditional chopper style dimmer. A Variac doesn't make a whole lot of sense for that. There are applications where light, dimming lights with a Variac uh, does make a lot of sense, but there's so many digital chopper style dimmers on the market now that uh, for the most part that's not their primary use. Now the problem is a lot of these heat guns here have absolutely no control or very coarse control over the amount of heat that they put out. So I want to have some way of controlling the heat out of this really well. Uh, and that's where our Variac here comes in. When this is on, and I turn on my Variac, and I turn it up to about 120 volts, you can see this runs at full bore. You can hear it there. Um, but like I said, this is, this is too hot for my application. So I'll just take my Variac, and I'll turn it down. You can hear it's running much slower now. It's much cooler. Um, and I can adjust this real time as it's running, and tweak this for the exact heat output I need for my application so I'm not over or under heating. Um, with the heat gun, that's the primary example. Uh, you can run fans with this, you can run all sorts of stuff. Now the way that this is actually functioning, you have two things inside this heat gun. We have a brush type AC motor 
uh, this is important the note brush type uh, means there's brushes in contact with the rotor um, that transfer the power in there uh, with standard induction style or shaded pole motors these don't work quite as well uh, the other thing to note is there's a resistance based heating coil in the front of this heating gun um, and when you lower the voltage being put into a resistive heat coil the heat produced actually goes down so that is how we're able to, just by varying the voltage with our variac here, uh, we're able to very precisely control the heat output of our heat gun here. Now another place that these are really, really popular is uh, in tube style amplifiers. Um, older style amplifiers, oftentimes you'll want to gently bring the voltage up or they were designed in a time where line voltages were lower and so you know, possibly providing a full 120 volts to uh, older style capacitors and whatnot in these antique amplifiers uh, could be damaging to them. So a lot of people use Variax to bring the voltages down to an acceptable level for their antique amps. And even for modern tube amplifiers, uh, a lot of musicians have a specific voltage at which they uh, like the sound that comes out of their amplifier. The problem is when they take their amplifiers around to different venues to play, uh, the wall voltage there can vary, you know, depending on where you are. You can get 110 volts, 125 volts, any, a whole number of ranges. And with a tube amp, to get that same sound that the, uh, that the musician likes every single time, you've got to have a constant voltage. So what you do, you take your Temco Variac, you plug your amplifier into it, and you set the voltage as you want. So say your amplifier runs best at 118 volts, you can set this so the exact output, 118 volts, there you go, you get the sound out of your amp. Now, when we went to design this product, we wanted to design something for you that would be rugged and reliable. And so what we've done here is make a good heavy sheet metal case, a uh, great knob, standard features we include on here for you, on-off switch, grounded three-prong plug. We've got a uh, AC voltmeter on the front of it, as well as a uh, line cord there. So you don't actually have to wire anything up into this. It's all pre-done. There's also a fuse to protect both the Variac and anything you've got plugged into it from overload there. Uh, the other nice feature we've put on these are these great little rubber isolator feet. Uh, this is a really solid platform. These feet really grip well. You can push it. You can actually tip this over by pushing on the side of it. They'll hold on well enough. And part of the design, like I said, we wanted this to be really rugged. So when you've got it up on stage and your, your bass player, you know, trips over it and tips it over or something like that, it's not going to hurt it. In fact, it'll probably hurt him more, more than it would hurt the Variac. If you have any questions, post comments or jet on over to our Facebook page, which we'll link here, Temco Industrial Power. Like us on there and shoot us comments or questions on there and we'd be happy to get back to you. And as always, you can give us a call Area code 510-403-4061. Until next time, guys. Thanks.